present? I know a union facility when I see one, man. Yes, sir. By the way, you know, I got in trouble. Supposedly, I was very flattered. Press reported about a month ago. I had used the word union board in the last seven years. And it hasn't gone unnoticed. <laughs> you guys, that old expression, you all brought me to the dance, man. <laughs> Appreciate it, sir. Mr. President, Jason Warder. Good to see you, guys, sir. Okay. Mr. President, Zachary here. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we were, man. I remember the first play I saw. Yeah. Sure how this big. Yeah. <laughs> this is just about half the size we're doing offshore. So this is about 50 yeah. meters. Offshore is over 100, 100 meters. And yeah. look, I mean, all this, the people from the union, we're doing so much work. You are all are doing an amazing job for us to Thank keep you. everything running and going. And so this is awesome. One of the things I wanted to talk about at some point, and maybe we don't have time today, but is do we have enough of a workforce? as we're moving into this new era. And, you know, I know these guys were going to provide more jobs for the IBW than they've ever had, but my point is, we've got to be training more people, too, because I want to talk to you all about it. And we know the apprentice programs you got going, but and also making sure we attract more of you. Yeah. Now, I'm not being facetious. I'm being deadly earnest, because that is one of the things that uh, uh, Xi Jinping is worried about my trying to stop. Yeah. No, I'm not joking. Yeah, well, yeah look, I, I tell you, first, as you can hear, I was born in Germany. I came to the U.S. because this is where, where the action was. Yeah. And I never returned because I want to be a scientist where the action is. And that's yeah. here in the United States. Well, what you've done, you're attracting. No, I really mean it. Yeah. I really mean it. You know, when the Recovery Act, when I was vice president, able to invest money to finally get to the point where, you know, wind and solar are cheaper than new coal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's just making yeah. us all rational. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. That's just the beginning. We yeah. Yeah. Driving even further. Well, I'm going to want to ask some questions about that. Yeah, good. And you know this team, don't you? Oh, yeah. Very yeah. well. Yeah. well. <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> Trouble. They're the ones getting it all through the Congress. Yeah, that's why. We're working on it. We're really working on it. Yeah. With our <laughs> union brothers and sisters here, too. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic yeah. folks. Yeah. Good to see you, Congressman. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. You think I'm kidding? <laughs> IBW supported me right off the bat. You bet. Absolutely. And, uh, because the future, that's where the jobs are in energy. This is going to be new jobs. I mean, that are across the board. And I tell them, not a joke. Every investment banker could go on strike for a month. These guys do a month to shut the country shuts shut down. down. No, I, I, in a literal sense. But you're all nuts climbing up those poles in the middle of the I mean, putting on the. I've watched you guys in the middle of storms and now it is. They're as crazy as you when you were in Afghanistan with special forces. <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> he wins. <laughs> anyway. So, awesome. So great. Well, by the way, to the Alley now. Pete, Alley. I know these guys know. When Pete, what you said to me, I was saying I got early on. Push wind and I'll show you. And I said, we wouldn't even play this game. Okay. You're the strongest wait, wait. bird in the He's the already round. going to it. Look yeah. at that. So, See? so watch, watch out, Mr. President, because if you look Here, down, gonna, so wait. shake it. See? It just moves a lot. So see how this is built from the architecture, Whoa. that it's completely flexible. Watch your head. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to be able to do this. All right. <laughs> All right, watch, watch your foot. Okay. Go back better. That's right. Great. Yes, sir. I think that's very good. Twice as big. Twice as long as the biggest is yeah. per blade. Yeah. I'm learning on this trip that we made a great investment. 
in this laboratory. I was out here in 2011. It's expanded considerably. And we brought down, just in the time that I was running the recovery, we brought down the cost of energy generated by wind and solar cheaper than the cost of a new coal plant. These guys are changing the world, man. <laughs> no, they're really, no, not, not yep. a joke. Thank you. Yeah. Hey guys, let's go get in the car. 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 Guys, let's go get in the car. I'm all for more climate measures. Guys, let's go get in the car. We got a lot. Welcome to the Flatirons campus. Where we are right now is uh, where we do our grid integration research for what we call ARIES, Advanced Research yeah. on Integrated Energy Systems. It's really here to help us build out the future decarbonized energy system so that we can have a carbon free power search by 20 to 35. And a, you know, carbon free economy by 25th. So we work very closely with utilities like Excel Energy. We work with different manufacturers like General Electric, uh, Caterpillar, AES, First Solar, Next Tracker. And we also work with communities like the city of Los Angeles to help them reach their clean energy goals. And so what we're doing here at this site is looking at technologies like wind turbines, solar panels. How do you integrate them with battery systems like this? That And this bed, this this has like 100,000 iPhone batteries in it, the equivalent of that, to help transform our, our grid and our future energy system. So we get wind and solar and battery source to work together to create this new uh, future energy system. Fire related to the landfill. So how do we how do we address that? So we're using smaller research blades like, like this one here um, to develop completely new material systems. So. NREL has the capability to develop brand new materials on our main campus in Golden. We can then fabricate, fabricate an entire blade like this one you see here in the Thomas facility that I think you just walked by a, a moment ago. And then in this facility, we can prove whether, whether that new technology works or not. And so in here, they can put basically 30 years worth of loading for a wind turbine blade and compress that into just a, a few months, right? And then more dramatically, you can actually load it until it snaps in half, which is quite dramatic, uh, as you might, might guess. And so Especially in a room this small. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And so we have the control room back there with the, you know, the bulletproof glass and all of that, because it is quite remarkable when, when that happens. Um, and this whole process, including what happens in this building, with again sort of doing the testing and proving out the technology is critical for the technology transfer. What is the change, the fundamental change in materials? Yes, yeah. so this, you know, is, is mostly fiberglass uh, and epoxy resin, and then this is actually just a filament, so that's also wood in there, like you may have yeah. used in your middle school uh, projects or something. And so it's that, that epoxy or resin material that is the problem today to doing anything with it at the end of life. You can't, once, it, once the epoxy sets, you can't do much with it. So what we're developing, both thermoplastic resins, which you can melt out at the end of life, as well as bio resins, so from, you know, biomass feed, yeah. stock corn or something yeah. else, um, which we're trying to get the fully recyclable blades in the near term. And as you might guess, the industry really likes to see it proven in a test yeah. facility like this before they're willing to take that kind of jump. So, it allows you to chop it up, put it in a field, it will biodegrade yep, and yep. leave no footprints. Exactly. And, and we're even, that's totally true, we're even shooting for it. We just reuse the same material in, in a new blade. That's, that's kind of our ultimate, ultimate goal. Yeah. Yep. Now, how long do we take? Um, well, it's uh, to, to break it. For instance, it's, it depends on the blade architecture and size. But many many tons of load to get this to break. It. I yeah. mean, I think you, Mark may have already shown you the the large blade there closer to yeah. 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 Um, th this one is smaller because we can do the research. Yeah. Yeah. Those are, 